Hi, everybody, and welcome to our StockTrack.com webinar, where we're going to discuss StockTrack.com, how to use it, and how to make your finance class or any class where we're talking about business concepts more exciting. My name is Thomas Reddy, and I'm the Director of uh, Business Development and Education. And many times, I would be the person that you would see uh, sending you emails. So uh, if we haven't had the opportunity to meet before, uh, it's really exciting for me to be talking to you and for you to be joining our webinar today. So I want to talk a little bit about StockTrack.com, who we are, what we do, and how that fits into your business program and how to make your finance class, your investments class, your portfolio management class, your accounting class more exciting and more engaging. So uh, StockTrack.com has been around for about uh, 30 years now, and we're excited to say that uh, we serve about 1,000 universities, about 20,000 high schools. Um, that would probably be about uh, 350,000 high school students. And our platform is a virtual trading platform that operates like a real brokerage account. So what's really exciting about StockTrack is when we think about it is is that StockTrack is a visual way to express your coursework. So how does that work? So when we're talking about investments or portfolio management, you know, we're really talking about the essential elements that go into constructing a portfolio. Now, if we were trying to do that in a uh, in a you know pencil and paper kind of format, in, in a paper trading format, you know, that could be that could really take a long time and would be an unproductive use of our time. So what StockTrack allows you to do is in a very, very, very simple way is for you to have a brokerage account where the instructor is the bank. The whole concept behind StockTrack.com is not to turn your students into day traders. What we wanna do is we wanna demystify the coursework, bring excitement to the class, bring, bring competitiveness to your students and uh, for them to, uh, be less fearful uh, of the marketplace. So why is StockTrack.com such an important tool in your business program? Well, StockTrack.com brings to life the real world. So I don't think um, there has been a time where so much of what we do and so much of what we hear is related to the financial markets. It's really right in front of us all the time, uh, especially with, you know, when we're hearing things that that are you know affecting our daily purchasing habits. So today, you know, when you walk into the grocery store or when you walk into your favorite gas station to pick up gas wherever you're going, uh, you're noticing that there's an effect, uh, you know, on your wallet. So uh, what StockTrack does is it really helps to explain, you know, that process, that inflationary process. So if you're teaching economics or you're teaching accounting, where you know, we're looking at the economy as a whole, what StockTrack really lets us do is it allows us to take our investing ideas and concepts and notion and bring that and bring that into uh, into play. So StockTrack is a customizable virtual stock market trading platform where you're the bank, you get to choose the um, dates, currency, and all the trading metrics, which we'll talk about in a little, in a little bit uh, in a little bit. Uh, we're also an interactive engaging budgeting game. So we've added an interactive budgeting game, which brings to life the real stresses uh, and uh, uh, implementation of, of budgeting income and expenses. We have a great variety of embedded financial curriculum and assessments where it's a self-assessment uh, quizzes and videos. And it's a great way for students to uh, more fully understand their their coursework as they're going along uh, in in their class so how does stocktrack.com work so stocktrack.com is really really simple to use because if you're a professor you're just going to come over here and the first thing that we need you to do is we need you to register as a professor so registration is free it's very 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 simple and i just want to say that uh, you know we've been around for 30 years now, and the principal area of our uh, of our uh, 
utilization inside the business in the business program at colleges and universities throughout North America and in 50 odd countries that we serve are investments, portfolio management, derivatives, corporate finance. Uh, what's really notable today, and there's a big interest, uh, is personal finance and financial literacy subjects. You know, talking about money and banking, capital markets, international finance, financial statements analysis, and macroeconomics. So a lot of times when I talk to professors, uh, they're looking for ways to engage their students to make the coursework more exciting. So stock track is a very, very, very simple way to interact with the financial markets and make students less fearful about investing. Again, we don't want to turn them into day traders. What we want them to understand is generally how the financial system works worldwide and how their investing acumen can improve uh, over time because at some point they're going to graduate from college, they're going to have an income, they're going to have savings, and where are they going to put it? So as we know, by putting money into a bank account or putting money into a bond is no longer an appropriate way to uh, create wealth uh, for themselves, for your students. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that link that we just saw. Uh, so here we are. We're looking at our pricing. So the way stock track works, it works on the principle of X number of weeks uh, times, uh, you know, how long, uh, X number of weeks based on the service level. So for example, if you were looking at the standard program, your students would be using StockTrack for a nine week period. They would get X number of trades and this would be the cost associated to, uh, to using StockTrack on a per semester basis. Now we do have various other kinds of, uh, of uh, programs. Um, so a lot of our professors and faculty like to use StockTrack on a per semester basis. For those schools that have a bigger program, they may wish to purchase a site license. And we have site license at the 250 student level. We also have site license at the 500 student level where, you, where all the faculty in the business program can use it. You can host the campus-wide challenge. You can have the financial literacy event. You can invite high school students to your to your uh, to your college or university, and we also have fully branded sites. And a great example of a fully branded site could be something like this. So this is a fully branded site. This is our colleagues at Concordia College in Moorhead, Minnesota. And what we've done is we've built an iteration of StockTrack.com for them. So what Concordia College does is they also have a um, FFA uh, Commodity Challenge, which is Future Farmers of America. They have their college program, and this is really an extension of the uh, business school over at Concordia College. So they prefer to have a fully functional version of StockTrack.com, which they use uh, on an annualized basis in their business program and also for their extracurricular extension programs as well. So what does StockTrack.com feature? So we feature real-time trading. We have access to a wide variety of global exchanges, both in the EU, in Latin America, and in Asia. Of course, the students are ranked against each other, and we also have a full complement of professional research. So that's an example of how um, you can also use StockTrack.com, but let's come back here. So these are the different kinds of service levels that you can get. And very, very simply, it's really simple. Just come on in, create a registration profile. So username and password, and we just ask some basic information. And just as a reminder, we've got our academic pricing right over here on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and log into the platform and take a peek inside and see what we're actually talking about. So I've got my professor ready account. I'm just gonna put in my super secret password. All right, so we're gonna log in. That's just how easy it is. Great, so here we see a pop-up message for the CFA Institute. We like your students uh, to know about the CFA. A uh, large majority of our business school students want to be CFA certified. So this is a great way for us to put the CFA in front of you. So from time to time, we do these pop-up kinds of messaging. So let's come on over here. So let's pick our session now with StockTrack.com. 
you're coming in uh, either on a semester basis, if you're coming in on a site license basis like I am, you could see that I have a variety of classes set up. So let's come to my demo account right here, and we're on the dashboard page. So as I said at the outset, what is StockTrack.com? StockTrack.com is a virtual trading account, just like your brokerage account. Key difference is you're the bank. So first thing I want to draw your attention to is with StockTrack.com, you can create iterations of your uh, what you what you feel is is an ideal portfolio in terms of asset mix, in terms of currency, and how you see your students interacting with the financial markets. We'll talk about that in a minute. So you can register a new class. You can create and view assignments or tasks. There's about a couple of hundred in here. We'll take a look at them. So this is coursework that you can apply to your students investing uh, during the course of your program. So if you're doing a nine week program, which was the standard program as we looked at earlier, you could uh, order up nine weeks of tasks for the students to do. So they would read an article, complete the quiz, and then as they complete the quiz, they would be self-assessed in the report card. So anytime we set up a portfolio session or a trading session or a virtual trading session, we can always come on back in and edit the trading rules, okay? Things like, I want to turn on day trading. I want to turn off day trading. I want to add different kinds of financial uh, exchanges. So I may want to add London. I may want to add Paris. I may want to add Asia. We also have a budget game. Let's talk about that in a minute. This is a great way for you to engage your students into managing a real life uh, lifestyle of income and expenses. And as we know in the real world, there's always a flat tire, there's always a parking ticket, there's always something that hits us with when we least expense it, when we least ex expect it, even though that we have a budget. So through the platform, we're able to look at a whole series of reports. And just in case you need some extra information, there's also a full section here on admin resources where you can look at other professors' syllabi and get tips and tricks on how to use StockTrack.com. So as I said, StockTrack.com is a virtual trading account that operates just like a real-time brokerage account. So considering you've set up your tournament already, we can then come and explore what a, uh, what, uh, what are the uh, pieces of a, of, a, of a brokerage account that we emulate inside StockTrack.com. So under the My Portfolio tab, we have Open Positions, closed positions, a complete library of your transactions, a summary of your portfolio, just the same way that your brokerage account or, or your bank would present it to you. And the great thing is all the students, when they register, they're ranked against each other. Uh, trading is really simple because, it's, as I said, it's based on the precepts and it's based on the trading parameters that you've set up. So what do I want to do? I want to trade. So what am I going to trade? Right. So these are all of the asset classes that I've uh, that I've enabled in my tournament. We'll go ahead and make some trades in a minute. But as you can see, stocks, ETF, cryptos, options, mutual funds. So again, the entire range of security types that one would normally associate with building an investment account. So we also have our order history. We've got a neat feature here called, I'm sorry about that, called trade notes. So when you enable trade notes inside the platform, what you're really saying to the students is, hey, keep a journal of why I'm buying Boeing, why I'm selling Boeing, why I'm buying Apple, why I'm selling Apple. So as I said earlier, when we looked at one of our fully branded websites, we also have a full research center. So um, this is a great way uh, for students to look up a quote, find out latest company information, see top performing ETFs, uh, look at different currencies, get a quote, find a quote, have interactive charts, look up key accounting ratios, uh, and so on. So we have a full complement of that. We also have a full complement of tutorial videos to help a student. From the perspective of the professor, you can also upload a document to your students, for your students. So this could be a course syllabus. And you can also uh, ensure that you put messages in front of your students when they log in. For example, your assignment is due this coming Friday at a particular at a particular date, and so on. So you can you can message your students. So in this in this demo, we see that there's seven registrations, there's 48 trades been done, and there's 21 days remaining in my tournament. So let's take a look at my portfolio and look at 
what a typical student's portfolio looks like. Okay, so let's look at the open positions or all of the assets that I'm holding in my account right now. So when we want to look at the different security types that we're holding, right, based on how we've set up our tournaments, really easy. You just toggle this little window here, and then we categorize the securities that we're holding based by based on security type. So we're looking at equities. Okay. And then we're looking at all the securities that I'm that I'm holding here. So if I wanted to uh, look at a particular security or, or get information for a particular security, I could view its news. I could look at its chart. Uh, I brought here just uh, F FRU, which is freehold royalties. So I bought a thousand. I paid eight dollars and fifty four cents for it. The last price is eleven forty seven. So look at that. I've got a real nice profit over here. So the platform works in real time based on uh, real time, uh, real time pricing. So all of my uh, open positions or things that I'm owning would be here. I could look at it in the standard view or I also like looking at how the day's activity is is looking based on a particular uh, one day chart. Of course, everything in the platform is also fully exportable. So the students can always export the data that they're that they're looking at. So let's take a look at uh, placing a trade. So placing a trade is very, very, very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and use that window. And uh, again, if I wanted to be trading other other exchanges or other continents, we break it up by Latin America, Europe and Asia. And it's all dependent on how you set it up. But for the ease of our conversation today, let's go ahead and buy something. In, in 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 the Canadian market, for example. So just like in the real world, buy, sell, short, cover. So we're, we're going to pick the symbol. So let's go ahead and buy CM, which is Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. So as I put in the symbol, we could see Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Thank you very much. Here's the chart for it. We could look at an advanced chart, which I tend to like a little bit better. So we've got all our information here right now. So we see the bid ask, day's range, day's volume. And um, also at the same time, if we just scroll on down here, I referred to research earlier in our conversation. We could see all of our uh, information related to Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. So if we wanted to see an analyst rating, we could see that it's placed as a moderate buy. And there's a whole bunch of metrics here that you can explore uh, just prior to you making that purchase. So we can also look at price history. We can look at financial statements and these are all exportable. And I believe we go back 11 years so we can export that. So we can look at income sheet, I'm sorry, income statement, balance, cash flow period and the reporting period. So this is really great for all of, uh, for all of those students that want to get a little bit more information. So I personally like Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. I like buying stocks which are uh, pay a dividend and uh, I like to have my portfolio diversified. So I think this is a buy. And just to confirm that, we did look at analyst rating over here, but I also like this little technical widget here. Oh, so it's saying sell. Well, you know what? Uh, it's a great little tool here to look at right now the gurus are saying sell but i really think it's a buy so we see that there's 12 sales 10, 10, 10 neutral and four buy so um i'm i'm going to ignore that because i think that um i think that for myself it's a buy so i'm going to go buy 25 of those i'm going to pay at market price so it's giving me approximately estimated order so i'm going to go ahead and preview that and I'm going to put my trade note. Remember, we talked about trade notes. So I'm going to say I like CM pays a good dividend. And I'm just going to abbreviate dividend long term. Long term buy. So I'm just going to go ahead and confirm that. And bingo, just like in the real world, we get a market order placed. We get a confirmation. And then we could look at it here in my portfolio, in my open positions. Uh, I can also look at it in my order history. So just so you could see that that order was filled. Let's take a look. So there we go. CM market buy 
it was filled. And if I wanted to look at the trade note, we can come here and there it is. It says, I like CM, uh, pays a good dividend and it's a long-term buy. So I like that. Now let's take a look at what this all means for the students when they're trading and how this looks like for the, for the student because they're gonna be ranked against each other, right? So this is a typical ranking. So I happen to be in first place with a almost 15% return. And these are just some of the other participants over time that we've had join this tournament. So as a professor, without having to go to the admin panel over here and select reports for a much deeper dive, you can also see what your students are holding from this view over here by using the view button. So this will tell you, uh, you know, what I'm, what the student is holding, you know, the transactions, the detailed balance of the account, realized profit and loss in trade notes. If you want to take a real quick peek uh, at at your uh, particular student account, now what the students will see is the students will just see themselves ranked against each other. They won't have this additional account view uh, button right here. So let's quickly explore the class setup procedure. Okay, just quickly go through that. Of course, uh, if you find this amenable to you, I'm always available to help you set up your own tournament based on your own. Uh, trading parameters. So it's really simple. It's really like a five or six step process. So you're going to go ahead and pick your name. So generally your class. So I'm going to say Finn4531, Winter22. 25 students in my Winter22, approximate number of students, registration start date, registration end date, trading start date, trading end date. We've got a great GM. We've got a great time clock feature here so that you're operating in your own time zone. We also have a form feature, but for the purposes of our conversation today, I'm not going to go ahead and enable it. We just want to know if this is an undergraduate, graduate, postgraduate, or high school class. Let's say it's undergraduate. So this is introduction to investments, just a little added information. Okay. And what we'd like to know is the author of the textbook. So StockTrack has a lot of great um, co-registration offers with various textbooks where a student purchases a particular textbook. Um, there may be a discount associated with it, but generally we're just keeping statistics on what are the most frequented textbooks used by colleges and professors um, in, our, in our community. So I'll just say it's the Bodhi Kane and Marcus book. Now, if you are using that book and the student purchases that book, um, there, that there is a discount uh, with that, so it's important when the student registration occurs that you tell them that they have to put in the book code that they'll find in the book into the platform when they go and register. So I'm going to go next. So very simply, look, you can set up the portfolio based in a number of different currencies. We really have a great representation of that. We have a weekly deposit feature, which is great in a personal finance class setting where you can add to your portfolio the way an, a regular investor would do over a period of time. You set the initial cash balance. So lots of opportunity here for you to uh, task your students. You can set the minimum stock price for buying, minimum stock price for shorting. If you want your students to earn interest on cash or if you want your students to uh, be charged a uh, uh, margin. But as you can quickly see all of the trading variables here um, you can just say yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. And for the uh, for the purpose of our uh, webinar today, I'll just briefly uh, gloss over that. So we'll just go next. I think this is the most exciting part. This is where you could select the security types that you want your participants to uh, to invest with. You set the commission, you set the position limit. So how much of my initial seed capital can I invest in any one single security? And then the diversification of the portfolio. So what percentage of my portfolio is attributed to stocks and ETFs? What proportion is to options and so on? So this is a great way to regulate your class. Okay, that's what those metrics mean or those choices mean in the drop down box. Here you're going to select your exchanges. So uh, in, our, in the US, you can segment the US. So if you just want students trading technology, untick everything else, but leave the NASDAQ. So cryptocurrencies are back now. Uh, you can also trade cryptocurrencies. And the vast majority of our uh, international exchanges trade at either end of day pricing or, or 15 minute or 20 minute delayed pricing. So 
with StockTrack, you really get this opportunity to bring the international markets into your classroom. And then, of course, you could just pick the other asset classes that you have. So mutual funds, bonds, we all offer options, futures, future options. We offer Forex trading. Uh, and we also have cash spots, which are, which are you know, buying uh, oil contracts for sale right away, buying gold spot, buying different currencies on the open market. And if you do have any comments for us, you can put the comments here. So if we go to the next step, we're going to go to the assignments features that I that I that I mentioned. We'll talk about the budget game in a minute. And uh, as I mentioned earlier at the outset of our conversation, our budget game is an interactive medium where you take the opportunity to assign the students a particular part-time job, full-time job, how many hours they're working, how many um, uh, how much they're earning per hour, assign them rent, assign them uh, all kinds of different bills, and they get a weekly paycheck. They pay their income tax, their state their their state income tax, and all kinds of life altering decisions uh, you know come up before them. So the students are stressed to balance their budget, improve their credit score, and we'll look at that in a minute. But what I want to do very very quickly is just look at some of our uh, material here that helps the students understand a little bit better how the financial markets operate and what some of our platform features are. So for example, if we were to choose the stock, uh, stock game beginner lessons, these are some of the uh, materials, learning materials that are included here. So if you find them you know, it, uh, appropriate for you, so you might decide to say, hey, for week one, from this date to this date, these are the tasks that I'd like you to, to do. So read the article, what is the stock? Read the article, getting and understanding stock quotes. And then you would allow the student retries, OK? Uh, we've got a great personal finance and financial literacy section here. It's very, very extensive. So you may want to uh, review that. Uh, so at any time when you create a class, this is also included in it. And you can come back and choose these to add on to your class. But it's always best to look at them first and decide what you want to do. Just a little tip about investment, about uh, assignments is always begin it on a Monday, end it on a Friday, and then start the next one, you know, beginning a day after one closes. Don't start something on the same day and then end it on the same day. It'll just create a problem for our, for our students. So that's pretty much the whole setup procedure. And then when, you, when you've done that and you press next, uh, what it'll do is it'll, the platform will send you an online confirmation. Congratulations, Professor Reddy, you've just created your class. And you'll also receive a registration confirmation email with a link in it to forward your students so that when they click on that link, they're automatically joining your tournament. So at any point in time, you can come to the reports area. And if you look at our left-hand menu items here, we could look at rankings, we could look at the registration file, user summary, and a wide array, oh, oh, sorry, a, a wide array of reporting um, for your particular tournament. We can talk more about that on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation, but I just wanted to share that with you. So let's talk about the budget game very quickly. So as I said, this is a really great interactive way for your students to manage a real-time budget with income and expenses and unexpected life occurrences that we call old boy cards. So uh, this is really exciting. So uh, with the game, you can, you can play for a period of time, up to 18 uh, months, virtual months. So each virtual month takes about 30 to 35 minutes to complete. So if you're running a, a um, sort of nine week program or a 10 week program, uh, you may decide that you want your students to trade or use the budget game for a six month period. So this is really great in a personal finance setting, uh, anywhere where you want the students to experience a little bit of more, a little bit more of uh, how managing a real budget is managing income and expenses when they graduate. Okay, so let's go ahead and play the game. So we can see that I have bills, rent, cell phone bill, energy bill, TV, internet, car insurance, I've got a car payment. And at any point in time, you can you know change all of these metrics. So when you're setting up the budget game, you're kind of uh, selecting all of the life inputs that the student is going to experience. 
So we have our net worth, right? We have our credit score, which increases. We have our quality of life score. So we're always making decisions in the budget game based on um, should I be working extra hours? Should I be studying? Should I be doing housework? So uh, as in our own life, life is a series of choices that we have to make. And the budget game really does a great job of bringing that to life for the student. So we encourage uh, transferring money between your savings and checking account. So all of these actions add up to increasing your quality of life score and also to increasing your credit score. Uh, so let's go ahead and play the game. So we'll just quickly spin the dice. Oh, great. Flux fuel. Your car is running out of gas. Time to fill up your tank. How would you like to pay for this? So this is one of these expenses that you know come up in real life. So we're going to use our debit card. So great. I've just filled up my car with gas. My checking balance has gone down. So I just said earlier, we have all these life decisions to make. So what would you like to do? Would you like to work extra hours? Would you like to hang out with your friends, household chores, or would you like to study? So I'm going to say I'd like to study. Oh, great. So again, one of these old boy cards where you're faced with a life choice option. So group lunch, you meet your study group at a coffee shop, you order a couple of drinks while working, it's $11. How do you want to pay for it? So we're going to go ahead and use our debit card. Right, so study session refreshments. And then we're going on to, oh, looks like my credit card bill is due. Oh, there it is. Stream subscription, another streaming service launched. So here's where you're making a life decision on should I spend or shouldn't I spend, right? So I'm just going to say skip it. I've got enough uh, subscriptions. So my credit score has changed. So it's moved up because I made a good life, life choice decision. Here's my credit card statement. So it's showing all the credit charges I've made. So I'm going to go ahead and pay the minimum account. I'm going to pay for it now. Bingo. I've just paid my credit card bill. So let's just go one more. I think you, everyone is getting the idea here. So the game at this point is progressing on its own. Great. Note share. A student in your class keeps asking to borrow your notes. Do you trust them to get them back? So I think this is a light choice. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and share my notes. I'm a good student, so I'm going to go ahead and share my notes. Let's go on to the next one. And this will be our last throw of the die. We'll see what comes up. Oh, great. So uh, this is my account summary for the month. It shows that I earned $1,452. I got some other cash. Perhaps that's tips. So I have fixed expenses, variable expenses. Uh, my saving goal for the month was $400. My final saving balance was $400. So I've completed uh, all, all of the goals in the game. So. Um, I think that's a great explanation of the budget game. And I think that if we have some opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with each other, uh, all we would need is about 45 minutes to help you get set up in your tournament and to uh, advise you on how best to set up your uh, training simulation based on the course that you're teaching. We have a lot of experience in that area. So we've looked at stocktrack.com. We've looked at how to set up a tournament, how to choose and set up our trading variables, how to create assignments or learning material, and also to explore the budget game. I want to thank you for taking this opportunity to spend your time with me today. And you can always reach me to set up a webinar and conversation. You can reach me at treti at stocktrack.com. And I'm more than happy to get back to you and to help guide you in setting up your virtual trading simulation, either for your class or your trading room, whether you need a fully branded site or you'd like to take advantage of our site licenses, we're here to help you do that. So thank you very much for spending this time with me today. And I look forward to having one-on-one -on -one conversations with all of you. So thank you very much.
Have a pleasant day, and we look forward to serving you. Bye-bye.